and welcome back to my channel, it's Clarice. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we do a lot of DIYs every single week. This video is going to show you how to make your own DIY giant Jenga that you guys can play outdoor or indoors. It's perfect when you have a DIY wedding or some kind of outdoor event that you are hosting and it's also awesome for those Friday or Saturday night games night that you guys might have with your friends. Not only will I be showing you how to make your own DIY giant Jenga, but I'll also show you different ways to decorate it. And I'll also show you how to play Jenga with a twist so you can make it a little bit more fun and just a little bit more entertaining. So without further ado, let's get this DIY started. So let's map out our plan. We need six pieces of two by fours. Each piece is 96 inches long and 3.5 inches wide. Two by fours don't actually measure two inches by four inches, but really measure 1.5 inches by 3.5 inches. So we put three pieces of Jenga together side by side in a game and it would equal to 10.5 inches. And that is how long we need to cut each piece. A two by four by eight footer will give you nine pieces in total with some left over. Therefore, we need six pieces of these studs in order to get the 54 pieces that we need in a Jenga game. So we went to Home Depot and bought seven of these 2x4s just in case I didn't like the look of some. This is optional but I wanted my Jenga pieces to have a nice round edge so we first used a router to create that shape. This is the difference between the two. One is more round and I just like that look but it's totally up to you. Now using a miter saw, we clamped down a piece of wood and adjusted the saw so that each piece we cut would be exactly 10.5 inches. This is just an extra step to take to make cutting the wood easier so that you don't have to measure each piece. Next we use a finishing sander to make each piece nice and smooth. You can also just freehand sand it which also works fine but however that might take you a little bit longer. This step is completely optional again, but I wanted all corners and edges to be round so we routed each piece to give it a super awesome finish. If you don't have access to these tools, you can definitely go to any hardware store. They usually cut for free or at least the first four cuts and then each piece is about a dollar after that. They can cut several pieces at a time so you can probably get close to $20 to get all 54 pieces cut. Now for a more personalized touch to these Jenga or this is a great thing for weddings, you can put your logo, a monogram or any sayings that you want with this wood burn tool which is only about $20 for Michaels and don't forget your coupon because that saves you a lot of money. So you can see that I'm just lightly pressing down to burn the wood and this is a very easy thing to do and it is such a cute little touch to your Jenga. Give your Jenga a little twist by putting some masking tape on each piece or just a couple of the pieces and basically putting some dares or some actions that your guests will have to do before they can even put one of the pieces on top. Customize the color to anything that you want, match it to your theme, play it at different parties, outdoor barbecues, whatever it may be. This is just a really fun game to have with all your friends. Let me know what you think about this tutorial and if you are going to try it out, please do so and post it on my Instagram or Facebook. I will see you guys soon and thank you again for watching. Bye!